it's Jared Nally with Legacy Outdoors Family Adventures. We just got back from an awesome weekend at the Moore Expo in Springfield, Missouri. This year it was amazing. Last year was really good and this year it was even better. There were a ton of vendors with some really, really cool products and there were some amazing builds. One amazing build in particular that really caught our eye was Untamed Badlands and we got an opportunity to do a walk around and talk with Craig about his build. So here's our walk around video with Allie and Craig and Untamed Badlands with his awesome Super Duty Overland build. And make sure you watch the video till the end so that you can find out about Craig's giveaway and how to connect with him on social media. All right, we've got Craig here with Untamed Badlands. Jared and I were super impressed, as is everyone else here at the expo, with his awesome truck. So he's going to tell us a little bit more about that and kind of about what he does. Go ahead. All right, so this is a 2020 uh, Ford F-250. Um, basically, tell you a little bit of how I started to build this truck. I basically tried to figure out, you know, I wanted a platform that will do what I want it to do, uh, hold the payload that I needed to hold, and... Uh, also be different if you if you look at the overland community it is dominated by in the full size rams so kind of bring their competitor into the market and that's where this bad boy came into play so the first things first we'll wait <laughs> all right we good yeah you still hear me okay oh, yeah so First things first, I got an F-250 2020, uh, designed it, figured out what I wanted, what product I wanted. Uh, some companies did reach out uh, and helped me on this build. So we'll start with the top and work our way down. It's easier that way. Yeah. So on top, we have uh, Rome boxes. Um, I want to say those are the 95 L's on top. Don't hold me to that. I have like six or seven different boxes of theirs. Um, they are physically bolted to the frame, uh, to the rack frame. And they are being held up with the uh, Alpha Rack Series from Up Top Overland. Uh, if anybody knows about the Up Top Overland racks, they have Baja Rock Lights built inside. Uh, the new fairing, I was their test truck to the XL Link kit for Baja Designs. That light system up there just on the front of the truck is 25,000 lumens by itself. Uh, other thing about up top overland, you can actually, if you notice some of the part of my rack is orange, your rack, uh, you don't need to get orange. It could be just all black. You can actually get a paint match to match your car uh, or just powder coated a different color. In the back, uh, I'm running a Rainier CVT tent. Uh, again, this is the the EX Alpha rack series, and this is their truss system. So this the bed rack comes in two sections. You can tent can mount to the truss. You don't really need the rack if you don't want it, uh, but I like things to match. It also allows me to have way bigger foot, uh, footprint on top of my truck. Uh, running roto packs, water on one side, fuel on the other, max tracks inside. There, we're still waiting for lights to show up. We are supposed to have two LP4s on this side and two LP4s on the other side. And then inside the rack are more rock lights for more light if you come around. We have a factory switch that I attached the rock lights to. And then inside, you'll see that two didn't come on. Those are actually red lights. They're controlled maybe by my phone today. For some reason, they're not, that's my calendar, not wanting to sync. I think it's just because there's so many Switch Pros in here. So, but those, the two middle columns will light up red. So at night, if you don't want to wake anybody up. Uh, I also mounted a propane tank to the ceiling. Uh, I also ordered a line that will come down and mount over here so I could do a propane disconnect so I don't have to keep climbing up and down up there. 
This is a Dometic fridge. This is the 95. 95, 97, yeah, 95. I can't remember which one it is. It's the biggest one they make. It's got a freezer fridge on one side. This is the uh, uh, the tailgate, the uh, AL tailgate. Uh, if you go to my channel, you'll see a little quick video about me talking about this thing. I used to have another brand up here, but I took it off. This one actually has cup holders in it. Uh, but it's also made out of aluminum, so it doesn't flip around. Didn't clean that part. Uh, on the rear, we have a Expedition 1 uh, rear bumper dual swings. Uh, this is their heavy duty tire swings because this is a 40 inch tire. On the front of the tire is a trash roof. Don't think you need to film that part, but uh, <laughs> one thing about the Ford rear bumpers for Expedition 1 behind the license plate is. Uh, a winch mount so I can actually have a rear winch I'm still waiting on the plate to get here and then they're also they do <laughs> oh come on uh, rear camera uh, relocation also uh, running a Pro Eagle Jack, three, three ton jack. Fire extinguisher. And everybody needs a crazy, crazy beaver. Uh, the fenders are open fender kits from Fab Four. Awnings on this side. The hood is a one-off hood, so it's not a hood you can physically go buy. Sorry if you guys really like it. A lot of people do. A lot of people want it. Um, it's just not a hood you can get made. Uh, on the front, we have LP9s, LP6s. Uh, these are about 12,000 looms a piece. These are about 10,300 a piece. And my fog lights are XL Pros, and they're about 5,000 looms. Don't hold me that. And then we have XL80s for ditch lights. Uh, and then the one thing my truck's really known for, well, I am the only F250 2020 in the world with the snorkel. And the reason why I know that, I'm the one that designed it. And uh, I will not be selling it, so please. It is made out of four inch stainless steel pipe. And uh, the reason why we will not put this in production is because right behind here is a subframe and you physically have to drill right through your subframe uh, and most people are not going to want to tamper with a subframe. Okay. Suspension, I'm running uh, basically the best rad flow uh, coilovers in the front, shot piggybacks in the rear, or resis in the rear, uh, and then I'm also running rad flow uh, dual steering stabilizers. Oh, one more thing. Yes, my truck has a full roof. And just like every other Texas person. <laughs> Everything on here all, all fits in factory hardware. Thank you so much. No problem. You've got a YouTube and Instagram yep. and all of that Untamed Badlands, right? Untamed Badlands on YouTube, Instagram. Go check us out. Right. Uh, we actually are doing a giveaway on our technically YouTube and Instagram. So what you do is you go to our Instagram, find the post, and you go to our YouTube, subscribe, then go to the Instagram and write comment, your comment in the YouTube comments, but I'm tracking everybody through Instagram. Our biggest followings on Instagram, so we're yeah. trying to convert. Okay. 
kind of move people over. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, or have so, them watch both. We also have a TikTok, but. Oh, yeah. We're dabbling in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, no it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I love and you. And you all have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I love that sound. You can hear it suck it. That was awesome. That's a beautiful sound.